Hello everybody! I've been thinking, since I've been at university, I have been the only Welsh person there, and that is in my course and my halls of residence. This got me thinking that most people actually don't know what we are saying half the time. This actually came to my mind when I was watching a comedy sketch from Jimmy Carr, and he was attempting loads of different accents from around the UK. And, of course, he did a Welsh one. This became even more obvious to me because I have been living and working with many English people over the last year. So, I'm going to list a couple of phrases and words that Welsh people will say that are completely different to the rest of the UK. I just want to say that I am from the south of Wales, so this could be completely different for any other part of Wales. I'm not sure, I don't live there, but these are just common words that I say. Number one has to be now in a minute. I think every Welsh person is guilty of saying this. <laughs> it sounds so ridiculous when you actually think about it. Now in a minute. So anybody would be like, so when are you going to do it then? Are you going to do it now or are you going to do it in a minute? I don't really know how to explain this because it makes sense to us at least anyway. But it's very odd. It's, it's quite hard to explain this, but it makes sense to us. It's basically that we can't be bothered at the moment. We will do it in a minute. I'm not really sure why we add the now at the start, but we do for some reason. I don't know. The next word is kutch. A kutch is like a hug or a cuddle. If you say the word kutch to any non-Welsh person, they will literally be thinking, what are you talking about? I have absolutely no idea what a kutch is. Which is fair enough, because it's not a commonly used word. But a well-known saying in Wales is that anybody can hug, but only the Welsh can kutch. The next word I say a lot, and I am not proud of it at all. The word in it just drives me insane. It makes us all sound so stupid. The word in it is basically just a shortened version of isn't it. <laughs> I don't really know why we don't just say that, but we say in it after pretty much every single sentence. And the further you go up, I'm from the south of Wales, like I said, but if you go up into the valleys or anywhere, really, <laughs> you will hear people say in it after every single sentence. And honestly, it's quite annoying. Number four is the word like. I know what you're thinking. Like is a normal word, but it's the way we use it. We use the word like between sentences. I'm pretty sure I've already used this already in like previous videos and throughout this video probably, but we just don't realise we're actually doing it. We just say like in the middle of sentences and we're just like, oh, okay. In that previous clip then, I used the word like in between sentences. You probably didn't realise it as I was saying it, but if you rewatch that now, you will be able to pick up on me saying like in between sentences. Oh, it is really easily done. We don't know we're doing it, so sorry if that annoys you. <laughs> it's just a bit ironic that I'm talking about saying like in between sentences and I actually explained it while saying like. <laughs> For number five, I was actually really quite surprised that this wasn't used outside of Wales. I thought it was quite common for this word to be used. The word scram is not used outside of Wales and that's just crazy to me. It means like scratch, like when you scratch your arm. I, I just, I don't understand how scram is not used. It's really weird because everybody says scram here and it's just like so common, but hey, apparently it's scratch. I personally love this next word. The word tara is just another way of saying bye. Sometimes when I was at uni, I would say, oh, chura, when I was leaving a room. And some people would be like, what does that mean? And I'd have to explain the whole chura and bi thing. And I just thought that was fascinating that I didn't realise what I was talking about. So, yeah, that was quite interesting. Honestly, 
If you want to find out more about any sort of Welsh phrases that we say, just watch an episode of um, Gavin and Stacey. They sum it up perfectly. Gavin and Stacey show the English and Welsh cultures perfectly. It's absolutely spot on and it is such an amazing show. If you haven't seen it again, I really recommend you watch it. If you haven't seen my previous video, I talk about my favourite TV shows. I should have mentioned Gavin and Stacey. I really should have. It's a brilliant show. All right, that's all for this video. I will see you all very soon with my next video. Ciao.